greetings. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Yuvina and Jorth's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl? I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I'll go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Again, I find traces of the Nephilim. By edict of the local king, I shall prayeth to him that this light may be known as holy. These luminous placards are the divining rods of him who speaks to me. With effort, I seek the union of all his holy creations. Ita, Juno, Minerva, names that enter my head. Are these the Nephilim he reveals to me? Are these stones their signposts? I pray for your guidance, Lord. Amen. Farewell. The trolls are waiting.
crushed to death. An unlucky way to die. Doubt he felt much. Are you the wife of the man who fishes below the cliff? My husband fishes there, yes, and I run the stall. Do you fancy some fine, fresh fish? I found your husband. And where is that fool? Drunk in some bed, working of a debt? Dead, I fear. Some bandits crushed him with a rock, hoping to fleece him. No! Why? That sweet fool, leaving me penniless. Here, take this ring. I found it on his body. It is rightfully yours. His mother's ring. That fool. That damned, soft, loving fool. Thank you, stranger. At least I have this. Mary, they said. Marriage has left me not but a poor widow. With nary a fish to sell. That love sick. Ah, look at you, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Come here, come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen. Here these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, or I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I'll buy you a round with my winnings. How's that? Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. For luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yes, have another drink. Yes, yes, here's the next one. You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a Dane. Now to look upon you leaves my eyes in great pain. You're brilliant. You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another! I'm a champion, a winner, I'll claim the top prize. You can break a proper ruse lies. That was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. You are a wonder. I'll say the same of you, friend. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England! That loves I want him to stay. I 
call on you, nay, demand of you. Send me a home gang champion. I, I've been ready. I am ready. Fists up. That's enough. Yield! Uh, and what did Loki Rabbit promise you, champion? Wealth? Fame? Honor? The rabbit said nothing. A lesson you should learn. Where are you off to, Loki? Stench of rut in the air. Stop! Stop! There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me! Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The withering is taking them, but I do not wish to abandon them. The withering? A disease that often goes unnoticed until it is too late. The whole village had it. It destroys the mind and heightens aggression in an individual. And ultimately, the poor soul is rendered catatonic. Your family is lucky to have you. Do what you can for them. Yes, I will. Now, please leave, stranger, before you too fall foul of the withering. I cannot abandon my family. I will do what I can. Else, what is my life's part? My head. It's swim. Fairy. No! A demon. Breathe. 
Just breathe easy. I'm... I'm sorry. It will not save them. But at least it might ease their suffering. Hmm. A list of names. Ages. All killed by a plague. Greetings, Bart. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bart. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are Bart stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. It is the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes the Roman. Be my eyes, Suman. Behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfren. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me.
lead the way and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? I'll... If we die today, tonight we think we'll hold him. Either way, we claim victory! Once again. Halfdan Regnason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Castor for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? A heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravit. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Fair warning, Cheryl. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. Meet your Fought well, warrior, but here your legend ends, bound to no name. He 
we crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Halfdan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. The silver Eivor recovered there now pays for our war with the Picts. It is wasted fighting Picts. It should be put to better use. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Haftanjarn, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Greyjard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Show you a wonder. All this, we conquered this, he and I. 
together. You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voller, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this, from a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried, countless times, and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man... Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find. Then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Trolls, cursed creature! Ugh! <laughs> 
Well thought. Handsome face is a sight to behold. Troubles of the heart. I'm merely a worm next to a flower such as he. My words have not captured his fancy. He is immovable. You chose the wrong words. Listen to you. If you're such a poet, help me open the door to his heart. Give me a moment. I'll come up with something. My sweet, I'm here! I'm here! I can wrote you a poem, the kind you adore. Will you not listen? Barrels of Your fresh ale. Like Whoever fresh lives here has a taste for strong drink. Instead of food. Bertha, please! You simply do not understand me! Just leave me be! I think I know what to say. Let's hear it then. You say he's a brewer. Praise his skills at the craft. Aren't you a wise devil? Why didn't I think of that? Here comes a tale about legendary ale. So famous and delicious, it's the greatest in sales. It's drunk by kings and lords, devils and sinners. So good is its taste, it makes Aldwyn the winner! Those words about my ale are sung by a honey-voiced angel. Tell me, which of you sang such sweet words to me? She crafted those words and sang them out for you. I never knew you crafted such wonderful word songs, Bertha. Come in, I want to hear more. Thank you, friend. Take these trinkets I crafted for Alduin. Seems I don't need them anymore. Have a look, Sunan. That must be Ferovit's camp ahead. Cold and dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Ferovit! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Ferovit. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevit. This whelp needs scalding. Over, piss off. Small men always talk big. So was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hofton didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor?
to help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word? You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Ferovit. I'm here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Doracastri. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! <laughs> the pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. We made it. That was good war work. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away.
about on the wrong side of the wall. <laughs> The pig spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dins, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweyer! They spotted us! Raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. Let us regroup at Stenweyer. We need to plan our next move.
The Picts don't raid often during winter. Their scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. War guide my blows. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason. Something to gain. I should not be seen in this area.
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. And I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Hafton. Good. Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Donacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Waltz. Each victory, like his cock, eh?